hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you three simple ways that you can use moringa powder for hair growth and thickness please stay tuned so for the first option we are going to be making a hair mask using moringa powder i added two to three scoops of moringa powder in a bowl followed by aloe vera juice i made this off camera though just about a quarter cup of aloe vera juice into the bowl and mix that in properly to make a smooth paste next is to add some honey to it you can skip this because it's totally optional the reason that i'm using honey and aloe vera same time is just for them to help with moisture mix that in properly until they combine well So next, I'll be adding about three scoops of fenugreek paste into that mix. Remember the fenugreek paste we made in my last video? Please check the screen for the card or description box for how I made the paste. Also, mix that in properly to combine all the ingredients. Next. Add 5 to 6 teaspoons of olive oil or any oil of your choice to this paste and equally mix that in properly and set aside. The reason for me using olive oil in this process is just to help with some sleep. Next, I went ahead and shampooed my hair. I'm demonstrating this to let you all know that you have to shampoo your hair before applying the mask so after shampooing my hair i'll go ahead and rinse that off and return to apply the mask so next i'll go ahead and use the paste to coat my entire hair look at that slip guys Woo! be consistent with this mask and watch your hair thicken up and grow healthier I'll go ahead and section my hair, put it in a shower cap and wait for 30 minutes to 1 hour before rinsing that off. Option two. Option two is going to be hairspray or tea. I will go ahead and pour some hot water into my jar, then followed by some scoops of my moringa powder. Stir and cover to brew for three hours. After three hours go ahead and strain this and transfer to a spray bottle give that a good shake and you can use to saturate your hair as a leave-in or a rinse out spray whichever you choose
so for the third option is going to be a hair growth oil so i'm going to be using about 150 ml worth of olive oil for this feel free to use any oil of your choice next i will add two tablespoons of moringa powder to it and stay to combine cover and allow to infuse on your kitchen shelf for 12 days or longer for the purpose of this video i won't be waiting that long Next, I'll go ahead and sieve that to get my oil. Next, I'll transfer the oil into my applicator bottle. You can use this oil for so many purposes, which includes scalp massages, sealing in moisture, pre poo etc. Do not forget that I have a well-detailed video on how I made my Moringa-infused oil. And please do well to check that out. The link will be in the description box below. So here I'll go ahead and use the oil to seal in moisture from my Moringa tea. I will also use it to massage my scalp. Please keep watching. Let me know how you use your Moringa powder in the comments below. Please let's keep this conversation popping. Drop a message in the comment section below and I will do my best to reply you all. I'm so sorry for taking long to get a video fixed for you all. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. It was circumstances beyond my control. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share my videos with your friends. so much for watching today's video and see you in my next one bye